Hi guys, this is Bo, uh, the Weekend Gamer. So yeah, I'm going to replace my uh, old Raspberry Pi case with the Argon uh, 1 Pi 4 case. And um, uh, this case solves two of my uh, biggest um, complaints is that it, it my Pi overheats. And so this comes with a fan. And it also ha comes with a, um, an on-off switch, um, which uh, after four generation of the Pi, the Pi still does not have an on-off switch, so that you're aware of this uh, if you're buying a Raspberry Pi. Well, anyway, this case has an on-off switch and it has a fan, which uh, I'm very excited. There is the fan right there. So, anyway, um, the other cool thing about this case is um, it also comes with this adapter, which will um, kind of move all the plug-in on to one side because uh, right now the Raspberry Pi. The micro SD um, card is on the left side, and the um, uh, you know the uh, USB two and USB three is on the other side. With the um, you know it's kind of annoying if you're trying to plug all your cables uh, in on one side only. And as you can see, I'm struggling here to remove the Raspberry Pi board because I uh, did not realize that I had the or it's not removable if you have the SD card inside your uh, board so if you're gonna remove your board um, be aware uh, that you need to remove the SD card out before you um, take out the board and uh, it will make it a lot easier for you so um, learn from my mistakes um, what else um, but yeah so um, this uh, uh, Argon One case. Uh, I first saw heard about it from uh, ETA Prime, so thank you for making that video. Uh, as you know, I watch a lot of videos as well, <laughs> and um, yeah, so I, I, uh, you know, the case, like I said, solved my needs. So I definitely placed an order for it. It was only twenty five dollars too, which I think is uh, a fantastic price for this uh, product. Uh, because not only do you get the case and the fan, but you get this like this funky uh, ex extender board that will just move all your plug into that one side, as I previously mentioned. So all you have to do is slide it in and just make sure they snap in, or at least um, just make sure they, they. It only goes in one way, so you can't mess this up. Um, yeah, and then basically uh, that's all you need, and then you have to basically. Uh, screwed in the um the top and that's it and then you just have to align the uh, the pins uh correctly and if you align the pin correctly then it would just add power to your um uh your fan because uh the pins uh on the uh, the case will will just um hook up to the the power source so that it'll spin so anyway it's pretty cool uh it's very easy to do this whole process only took me about like 10 minutes to, to do. And uh, so it's not bad. It comes with everything you'll need, including all the little screws. Uh, there's um, a small screws and a large screw. The small screws are going to, uh, well, I actually had to look it up in the uh, guide. But uh, j just so you know, there's uh, longer screws and, and shorter screws. So keep those th things, um, um, just be aware of them. And then... Um, uh, what else? Um, it co also comes with thermal uh, paste. Uh, so uh, you put that over. Um, what? Well, I couldn't figure out where it was. So what I did is I just put it on top of the um, uh, the case itself. So you can locate in the case. There's two, um, you know, x two um, two. Um, uh, what's the word? Uh, just bumps. So you can just put it over the bumps. Anyway, uh, it also comes with rubber feet, uh, which um, you'll have to put on the bottom of the the case. Uh, all right. Uh, so what else? Um, but yeah. So if you're gonna run your Pi uh, at any reasonable amount of work, uh, it's gonna heat up pretty easily, as you know. Uh, the, the Pi Four is the only console that uh, actually requires some kind of cooling thing if you're gonna put it to uh, to work I mean I think if you're web browsing I don't think you're gonna have an issue with heating but if you're playing a lot of games and stuff and um, 
for an extended period of time. I recommend something with a fan or some kind of uh, kind of cool or a case with a cooling thing. Anyway, so what I did is uh, I put it on the the two slots here so that um, when you put the case on, it's going to come on right over the, the actual uh, items, which is uh, the CPU and I guess the over the RAM or some kind of... Uh, it, basically, it has two slots that uh, the, these thermal paste needs to go in. And you need to remove both sides uh, of the sticky. So uh, so both of them need to be kind of slightly sticky. Um, all right. What else? Um, yeah, this is the part that I actually had to look at the instruction because I wasn't actually sure on uh, what to do next. Um, and uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, the, there's, the pictures are great. And... Um, Oh, uh, another thing you should know is in order to um, activate the, uh, you know, download the scripts for the Argon One, uh, if you're in America, you need to change your keyboard layout to uh, U.S. keyboard layout. Uh, and when you do that, uh, you need to reboot uh, the, the Pi uh, because... Um, it won't take effect immediately, and uh, so I just kept trying to hit the um, the um, upper um, bash uh, or like the the uh, vertical line bash, and I couldn't do it because my keyboard was still uh, by default uh, in the UK setting. Because as you know, Raspberry Pi Foundation is based in the UK, so. It made sense for them to put everything in a UK layout as far as the computer uh, keyboard. Um, but yeah, so you'll need to change that to uh, a US um, um, keyboard. And, um, uh, you know, <laughs> Linux is not friendly. So um, just do a search uh, online and you, sh you should have the script. All right, I am here trying to place the pin uh, correctly, and they it only goes in one way, so just make sure that the pin line up, and if you do it correctly, it should come right in without any issues. Um, uh, I think a, a really good way for you to help is if you look in the back and make sure you, you um, move the uh, Ethernet port just out just a little bit, and then you can uh, try to uh, push it in. Uh, yeah, like I said, it only goes in one way, so you can't really screw this up. Um, the pin needs to, to just go all the way in. Anyway, yeah, so I think we're done here. Basically, we're pretty much done. We just have to apply the, the screws to the, the board, and now you have a, a working uh, Argon 1 case. And like I said, this case looks fantastic. It's not that big. Uh, and it just, I think it adds a lot of functionality that uh, I've been looking for um, in for my Raspberry Pi. In fact, I like it so much, I may actually end up buying another Raspberry Pi 4 and the same case and, and uh, you know, put it together for um, a friend of mine. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm very excited. Um, anyway, so just follow the instruction for the screws. The small screws goes in first and... Um, Basically, there's four screws. You just have to find the uh, the orientation. Well, anyway, so um, anyways, if you change your keyboard layout, like I said, uh, you need to reboot it because uh, when I changed my keyboard to US, I was still trying to, you know, my keyboard layout was still in the UK, and I couldn't figure out why until I rebooted the uh, the system. Once you reboot it. It should be, um, you should be good to go. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, uh, I also uh, looked up uh, temperature as far as my um, uh, Raspberry Pi is running. And uh, it, normally it would run at um, less than 36 uh, degrees. And um, once I installed the uh, the script for the, the Argon 1 script, um, it was fine. Uh, it uh, will automatically, uh, by default, will... Um, a kick in once it hit a certain temperature so when it um, hits like say I don't know like uh, 50 or 60 the fan turns up like halfway and then uh, once the temperature hit like a, a high then the the fan will run at full speed so uh, it's it's pretty good I mean I didn't feel like I need to uh, modify it anymore uh, based on the default so but you can if you want to you know 
uh, add extreme. Um, uh, I think I think the uh, the default is fine, so you can just leave it as it is. Once you install the script, and the script also uh, um, will add extra functionality to the power button because the the power button, uh, if you uh, want to reset it quickly, uh, I think you just tap it, and then if you hold it for a long time, it'll uh, shut down. Uh, that kind of thing is is all in the script, and. Uh, yeah, uh, everything you'll need is actually in this Argon case except for the screws. So you need to um, get a, a tiny little screw head uh, to put it in. And um, I'm using my uh, Fallout uh, Vault Tech uh, tiny screws, uh, screw head, Phillips screw head. Anyway, yeah, so once you add it in, you should it should be good to go. And then you just have to add the long... Um, uh, screws in there to to basically put down the the, the bottom and uh, and then you'll have to add the rubber feet and that's pretty much it i mean the whole thing the whole process was only 10 minutes so uh this is a very uh, easy to install uh case <coughs> especially if you consider it comes with um, the fan and the power button i think uh, it's well worth that 25 bucks uh, imagine uh, if you had to buy an external fan, uh, maybe that'll cost you ten dollars. And then if you buy a, um, you know, um, an on-off switch USB-C, uh, you know, that might cost you another five bucks. So, and you know, this includes both of that plus that extended um, thing and and the aluminum case on top of it. I think it's a fantastic deal. I don't know how they're they able to make any money off of this it's uh i think it's, uh, it's wonderful um but yeah so um uh i can't confirm that the the thing works and everything is working out uh perfectly especially after i installed that script and um but yeah um what else um uh yeah if you're thinking of getting a case i definitely recommend uh, the, this argon one case I'll um I'll do an update if it's bad or anything. So, but as far as I'm concerned, I think it's it's working just fine right now for me anyway. So, uh, okay, thanks for watching.